here we taken only two switch now what i will do we will take this one instead of this one what i will do let me keep one link here and i will take one more switch here example i take one more switch here and i will connect this cable from here to here this cable from here to here and this switch 1 switch 2 you have here i will give this name as a switch 3 okay and this is a mac address of this switch this is a mac address of this switch this is a priority of this switch this is a priority of this switch now we need to wait for some time after that we will check what is the priority of this switch and what is the mac address of this switch meanwhile i will take one computer here i will take one computer here i will take one computer here like this and i can connect here and we can assign the ip so now still it is taking time meanwhile we can assign the ip so i will give some ip to the computer like 192.168.1.1 and let me assign this ip to the machine i will go here in the desktop ip configuration i will assign by default whatever the subnet mask we have we will use that one only and we will write here dot two and then i will put this inside the computer okay and then i will go here okay dot three we will put here yeah okay so let me put here also dot three yeah so this one is the three devices we have here and before we have this is a king switch i think but now this is not a king switch because for king switch all the ports will be green and also opposite to that king switch port also green if you see this one opposite is block here so this will not be the king switch anyhow i will go here i will go here i will check here if you remember first of all i will do the basic configuration i will write here host name sw3 i will exit i will save the configuration i will write show spanning tree and you can see here this is for vlan1 and you can see this is the priority and this is a mac address of the king switch and if you see this one you are getting this breach is a root means this local switch which i log in that is only the king switch and you can see the mac address of both this one and this one both are having the same means this local switch only the king switch so i can put the mac address here and priority is also same if you want i can put the priority also priority all are having the same priority then they will look the mac address so if you see here yesterday we told this switch mac address is 00e0 and this one 0050 so this one is less that's why this guy become the king switch but now i have another switch whose mac address you can see 007 00e means e means if you remember 14 right a 10 means a like yesterday what i wrote here like this it is in the hexadecimal a b c i can say a b c d e f you will have this is a 10 11 12 13 and 14 15 like this so e means 14 so you have here 0, 0, 1, 4, 0. Here you have 0, 0, 0050. Here you have all 0, only 7. So this is a low MAC address. That's why this guy become the king switch. So we can say this guy become the king switch. And all the ports of the king switch will be in the forwarding. So it is green. And directly connected to this switch also that port will also be green. So it is green. Okay. So this become green. And now what I am saying, if we disable the STP, what problem we will get? We need to see that one. So if you want to disable, how you can disable? But don't do in the real environment. You should not disable the STP. Okay, you should not disable the STP in the real world. You will have big issue. But in lab, we can disable. So what if you see in our notes, what we are saying, if we are, what I will do, I will disable the STP, then we will check that one okay 
the problem you will have when we don't have the STP. So now let's see how I can disable and how we can do now. So what I am doing if you see here I am going in the global configuration mode. I will write here no spanning tree for VLAN 1 because by default we have VLAN 1 only. So we need to write for which VLAN we want to disable the STP. So I am saying for VLAN 1 with this command we disable the STP. Okay. With this command we disable the STP. If you want to check press Ctrl Z. Right here show spanning tree. Press enter. You can see here what you are getting no spanning tree instant exist. Means STP is not working. Someone disable here. I disable here. By default you have the VLAN 1 and STP will work for all the VLAN whatever VLAN you have. Currently I have only VLAN 1 so it is working for VLAN 1 and it is saying that one someone disable in the switch 1. I will go in the switch 2 also I will do the same thing for switch 2 also. So if you see here what I will do here in this switch I will go in the enable then go in the global configuration mode you will write here the same command what I wrote there no spanning tree for VLAN 1 because now we are using only VLAN 1 so I will write for VLAN 1. After that press Ctrl Z and you can write here show spanning tree and press enter you can see no spanning tree instant exist means STP is not working. But don't do this in the production network you should not do this in the production network you will have big problem. Okay. In the lab we can do this one but in the real we will have big problem so we are not doing in the real this one. So now what I will do I will go here to the switch 3 and I will do same thing here also. If you see here STP is working but now I will go in the global configuration mode I will write no spanning tree for VLAN 1 ok. Now I disable that one if I write here show spanning tree press enter you can see here no spanning tree instant exist means spanning tree protocol is not working here now <laughs> spanning tree protocol is not working now here so if you see before when we saw when stp is working what we saw one port is blocked here maybe here or here somewhere now all ports are working if i send any frame from here it will go like this only if I want to send something from here to here it will not go like this. It will rotate around only because STP is not there. So if STP is there he will block the link so you will not have the loop in the network. But now the traffic will go like this. And you will have the broadcast storm. We are calling that one as a broadcast storm. Because here what I done I disable the STP. How I disable just we need to write no spanning tree VLAN 1. 